Hey, it's me, Pascal from Morse Pixel. I don't have a lot of time for this week's video, so I'm gonna uh, do something very stupid. I'm gonna record it just in one go. I might edit out a few things here and there, but I'll try to do it just one take. Uh, I just first need to set up some uh, light. So let me just put on some light. Uh, tip for anybody else wanting to do uh, vlogging, YouTube, stuff like that. Doesn't matter which camera you have, you need a sh you need a lot of light. Like that's really the key to having a good image on YouTube, uh, give, having everything uh, lit correctly. You need a lot of light. So uh, that's one of my lights. Uh, that's of course the window light. And I'll um, turn on this light. that should already bring us a lot more light and then I'll have always a little bit of this and a little bit of that just background light and a few videos I also turn on this light so everything looks okay well except but I have to be in the picture anyway um, let me put you on this stand and this is gonna be a very chaotic video apparently obviously because I'm going to try and do it all in one take. Um, we're set up and I'm already tired. Let's do the intro and then I'll talk about what's happened this week. Intro. And of course, it is where the intro plays. And since I'm doing this in one take, I'll just keep recording it. All right, so um, this week was a little bit different than usual. Um, let me see, the first thing I did was, Residual is now at Nintendo for a lot check. We submitted it on Tuesday and um, we got the first feedback on Wednesday, I think, or Thursday. Um, this is just this kind of stuff you're gonna be running into if you're gonna release on console. Let me just boot up the game for a minute and uh, I'll show you one thing that had to be changed. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but uh, all right. Going into the options, into the preferences. On this screen, uh, the first problem was mentioned by Nintendo. <clears throat> I know there's not a lot wrong there if you're a gamer. The problem is the word uh, gamepad. You can't call it a gamepad. You have to call it a controller. So uh, the first feedback is change the word gamepad in all the screens <coughs> and um, I also have a d-pad down d-pad left not sure if you can see it uh, d-pad dimensional d-pad is also um, not allowed you have to call it directional button but that's way too long to fit in the whole interface so I decided to strip out the d-pad and we replaced gamepad with the word controller that's gonna be another submit um, but we'll wait for more feedback from Nintendo. I have hopes that um, there's not a lot of stuff that is coming back, not a lot of things that need changing, but uh, silly things like this is pretty much what we're running into right now. They're not testing the game. They're just testing uh, user friendliness and correctness and things like that. Part of the job. All right, um, second thing I've been working on this week, which was uh, completely different from usual, I've, I've always wanted a uh, bot on my Discord channel, but there are a lot of bots for Discord, but none of those bots do what I want them to do. And um, eventually, and I also, oh, see, this is what I usually cut out, but translating from Dutch to English can be difficult at times, in my head at least. Um, I also wanted to create a meta game, and I did this before for Gunslugs. Uh, we had a duck hunting bot in the discord and you could shoot ducks which, which would randomly appear and uh, there was a score and a counter and um, people had fun with it but it it was very far-fetched uh, having a duck hunting game for gun slugs but it was the best i could come up with uh, meta games are pretty interesting and i saw a video let me find it quickly from uh people talking about meta games one of no more robots and the other one, sorry, forgot who it was, but she is from Firefly Studios. So um, let's skip the ad. This is a talk and I'll link this video in the description below. And um, Natasha and Pip Hoskins are talking about 
meta games marketing and discord and it's a very interesting talk and i've seen no more robots pull it off multiple times having a cool meta game on discord attracting a community an active community i wanted that as well however um these two lovely ladies are uh, their sole job is to do that and keep a discord community active my, my main job is creating games, so I don't have that time and I can't hire anybody or I don't know anybody. So I, I wanted to automate the process. And for that, I had to write my own bot. And of course I called it PDB. So there's now a bot in the Discord server and there's a whole meta game involved for residual. And um, it's pretty much a combination of uh, trivia and dungeon uh, and dragons type stuff so it will ask you trivia questions and you can answer with emojis so you don't even have to um, talk in the channel or or type anything even those are very shy or lurking or idling you can just participate in these games and over time you'll learn a little bit about residual uh, you'll learn a little bit about orange pixel but you'll also have a lot of fun and there's interaction and and hopefully this will build a community so jump on the discord and participate uh, the channel is away team there's always a game running i'm pretty much uh, still triggering everything by hand so i trigger a new mission once maybe twice a day so there's no rush uh, every time zone everybody can join it's uh, it's interesting and uh, there's right now there's a mission going on which started a few days ago let me scroll up right this is a new mission and we had uh, seven people signing up pdb is the first one so he doesn't count and then uh, the mission starts with questions like how many devlogs have there been dedicated to making of residual? 40 to 50, 30 to 40, 20 to 30. Uh, people can vote using the emojis. And um, that's pretty much how the game goes. It's fairly simple. And then we can see all the away team members that are still in there. A, a couple of wrong answers will get you out of the away team. You can still get back. There are, f there are options to get back into the team. But um, yeah, I've been working on this whole game code uh, for the last couple of days, five days, I guess. And I've been doing it with, let me see, AutoCode, which is um, new to me. It's uh, It uses JavaScript. It is free for a certain amount of interactions and, and stuff. I get 100,000 events per month. And one event is pretty much um, if somebody clicks an emoji, that's one event. If it posts a message, that's another event. So 100,000 events per month. I think we can manage within that. So I've been uh, working on this uh, little PDB bot. It runs in JavaScript, uh, not my main language. So I had to learn a lot of stuff. I also had to learn a lot of um, how the discord api works how you look into discord and how that every, all those things kind of work and um, not being sponsored by other code but it's a pretty cool system their editor sucks extremely i mean this ide if you, you can't really scroll normally you can't navigate back and forth in lines it's all it's all very uh, fidgety it's it's not how i like to have it but it's pretty cool that it's all available and i can do all of it on my chromebook so in the evenings when we're watching some tv shows or movies i can still tinker with this and not having to have my whole pc setup so um pretty cool there's now a little bot in the discord and i'll be adding more functionality to him he will also be able to answer questions like uh, right now you can ask a pdb when is residual released and it will give you an answer that you have it will probably don't have anything again the brain twitch between dutch and english you can ask pdb when will residual launch and the answer he gives you is of no use to you but still he will answer you so um that's been what I've been working on this week, on a bot for the Discord. Not a lot of work on the game. I did do some stuff on the new SWAT game. Um, pretty much uh, not a lot, like I said. It's uh, just a, a warehouse storage room, the thing I mentioned last week. I had some time to build it this week and uh, work on stuff like that. So let's boot up the game for a bit. This is the city view. Let's go into the city. Let's go into a building. And it's randomized, so I hope we end up in a warehouse. No, we don't. We'll leave. Move into the next. Nope. Leave. 
and move into the next yes a storage room a warehouse whatever you want to call it um, it still needs a lot of work it's getting random placement but I need to make sure there's a path from from the bottom up to the top uh, forklift thingy is inside uh, it's it all needs a little bit of work but it's getting there and we can split up our team and uh, move it over here and then we can move over here and um, we'll take cover here and let move them over here and this way we slowly make our way to the top where there is an office like I described in last week's video and uh, we should grab some of the cash here and there and uh, move our other team over here we'll get next to the door we'll move that team on the other side of the door and when we're all there we're gonna breach and uh, well there's nothing to kill so that's an anti-climax but uh, the office still working on that there's a computer there's a water cooler and uh, there's this uh, power generator type thingy so um, that's what I've been working on a storage room but that's just like one afternoon the rest of the time was for PDB the discord bot again check out the discord so um, that's a very hectic video I guess so far and um, that's also all I had to mention this week um, I hope next week I should be working more on the game again. Uh, PDB is now up and running. I can tinker with it and uh, most of the stuff and functionality is working. So please hop on the Discord, participate in it. You don't have to tell anybody you're there. You don't have to speak to me or to speak to anybody else. Just join the game by clicking emojis and it's just cool to see people interact. There will be missions um, once or twice a day. It depends on how active everybody is. Um, those are still triggered by me. You'll be notified of those missions so you don't even have to stay in the discord of course that would be pretty cool because that's kind of the point of this bot but um join the discord and have some fun with the away team all right um very hectic video i do hope you like this one i'm not gonna do this very often but i just had a very little time and i'm i did a lot of work this week figuring out discord and the whole auto code stuff and it drained me but it was a lot of fun to learn new stuff and and build systems i like building systems like this so we now have this trivia type bot and i can shape it uh, to what i wanted to do which is pretty cool there's no bot like that out there there are trivia bots but not like pdb and this one just has all the stuff i want because i'm creating it and um for the next game we'll just rename him and he will probably if it's for this swat or squad team game Maybe we'll make him like a big mafia boss or something and um, we'll see. PDB will be on the Discord in different type of names in the future. Um, also the PC demo um, for the PC demo for residual. I'm about to upload it to Steam and activate it. So by this time it should be live. Check down below in the description. Uh, wishlist residual and the demo is also there. And uh, do let me know what you think about the demo. Um, I can still change and tweak certain small things here and there. I just want to see a little bit how uh, players look at it and how you uh, experience the game. So um, that's it for this week's video. I think I mentioned that before, but that's how these things go if we're not gonna edit it. Uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you next week. All right, bye. And then I turn off the camera because this doesn't really turn off the camera. I now have to turn off the camera, turn off the lights, upload that video to the PC, put it in DaVinci, um, paste in the intro, and then luckily not a lot of editing. I'll put on some music on underneath and uh, we're done. So um, yay me, I have a bunch of time left today to work on the new game. And that's a good thing. All right. Now I have to actually turn off the camera else this video is going to take very long and it's going to be boring. Although my camera will shut off by 20 minutes, 20 minutes, it can only record 20 or 25 minutes. Somebody on Twitter explained that to me. Apparently these cameras, this is just a DSLR camera, they are um, limited to 25 or 30 minutes, something around that, because if they are not limited like that, they should be sold as video cameras or a register or something like that. And there's another extra tax added in Europe at least. So they can only record 30 minutes to keep them as a photo camera and not a video camera. 
crazy but the, those laws have apparently been changed in 2019 so where is my firmware sony change this camera so i can record longer bits because at some point this this camera will just shut off 